Hey everyone, this is Stephanie and I have a really awesome overlay for you today. This one is our baby bump overlay. It has baby hands and baby feet and I will show you how to adjust the shading and the blending so that it matches your image perfectly. I cannot wait to get started, so let's go! Okay, so before we get started, I do want to quickly go over what images this is going to look best on. And for this overlay, if you'll take a closer look, you can pretty much only see the feet by the shadows on the foot. So you really need to have some shadows on your image. You can't have one that is front lit or flat lit uh, because it won't blend right, it won't look believable or realistic so the best kind of image that you can get will be one that is lit from one of the sides all right so here's a good example this image is lit from the right okay so here's the highlights on the belly and then the shadows are over here here's another one it uh, it's a very soft compared to the last one but it is still very directional in the light. The light is coming from the, the left side of the frame and you can see this nice dark shadow underneath her arm and then the softer shadow all down her side. Right, and you see them also around her hands, around her fingers, and this entire underside of the belly. And this part right here is the brighter part of the image. So it looks realistic when we put a foot in here that has shading around it um, shadows and such around it. If there weren't any shadows on the image or on the belly, then it would just look like her belly is dirty. <laughs> so you definitely need something that has some shadows and some shading to it. You can add that in post, but I suggest just trying to do it organically through your image um, in the way you're lighting it. And then here's our third example. This one's very directional as well. Light is still coming from the same side of the screen and then half of the belly is in the shadow. So that's what you're gonna want to aim for to really make this overlay blend well. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the first image that we're gonna do. Um, for We're gonna do all three of these images for you today, um, and I'm gonna use the same foot for all three. So this is the first foot in your kit, it's left foot one and I've opened all of my images and I've opened the foot that I want to use or the image of the foot so now with everything open in Photoshop I'm gonna right click on the layer that has my baby foot I'm gonna uh, select duplicate layer from the list and then this option here where it says document if you click on that it'll have a drop down with all of your images in it and I'm gonna pick the first one image one click OK if you get this um, profile mismatch you can just ignore it the the overlay is shot in black and white there's no color so it doesn't really matter what color profile you're editing in all right so now we'll go back to our image one if you'll notice this foot is shot with the light coming from the left side of the frame and the image that we're going to put it over is shot with the light coming from the right side of the frame so we're just going to simply flip it so if you go to edit transform flip horizontal that way the light is coming from the same side of the frame and then we're going to resize it so if you grab your move tool it's the very top one on the that left bar or you can click V on your keyboard V is in Victor and that'll get you your tool just grab a corner of it drag it down to resize it I don't really know how big a foot is in the womb <laughs> I'm basing my um, images off of the size of the thumb so and I think that looks realistic to me um, so that's my advice there but I don't really know <laughs> so um, I'm going about as long as the thumb I'm gonna click check the check mark click OK and then over here on layer blend mode we're gonna switch this from normal to soft light and click OK and I tend to position it right near the line where um, the shadows and the highlights meet on the belly so right near it not necessarily always on it but um, somewhere around that line or close to it and since this image has really dark shadows and bright highlights 
I'm going to make this image of the foot try to match that. So there's two ways I would suggest doing this. If you want to get it darker, you can just simply duplicate the layer and it will be darker. So if you hold down control and click J, it'll just make another copy of the layer. And there you go. We're twice as dark as we were. If that's too much, you can go up to one of those layers and grab this opacity slider and bring that down to kind of back it off a little bit. Or the second thing I would suggest, I'm going to go ahead and delete that second layer that we made. Oops. What I would suggest doing instead is creating a levels layer. So if you come down here to the adjustments layer, select levels from the list, and then we're going to clip this to the layer below. So click this little box on the bottom with the arrow next to it, and it will clip it to the layer underneath of it. So you see this arrow now on the layer pointing to the layer with our foot. So you just have to make sure your levels is right above the layer with your foot or your hand. Um, so that it clips it to that one. Now whenever we adjust this, it'll only adjust that foot in the middle and not the whole image. Um, so now you can, to make it darker, to make the shadows darker, you'll grab the left slider over here, the really dark one, and just bring that in. That'll make the shadows darker. If you want to make the highlights even brighter, you bring the right slider in towards the middle. So you can play with the middle slider as well and scooch that to the left and right and see which you like best, what works with your image. And um, that's all there is to it. I think that <laughs> looks pretty good, just as it is. So we'll minimize that. And that's image number one. So let's move on to image two. We're going to use the same foot on this one. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select left foot one, duplicate the layer image 2, click OK, OK, and now on this the light is coming from the same side of the frame as the foot um, for our image so we don't need to flip this one we're just going to resize it down again I'm going to use about the size of the thumb as a guideline for how big we we're going to have the foot and then click the check mark Come over here and select layer blend mode. We're going to switch it from normal, bring it all the way down to soft light. And that looks pretty good. I don't really feel like we need to adjust that anymore, but I am going to throw a levels layer in there just to show you uh, levels. Again, we're going to clip it to the layer below. Now, when you're pulling in your highlights, sometimes it becomes kind of whitish like this. So if <laughs> if you're getting um, this look, to back that off a little bit, you can come down here to the output levels, the slider underneath, and bring the whites in, and they'll just kind of blend in with your background. Same thing if your shadows, sometimes when you pull in the shadows a lot, they, they be, kind of become a little orange in some images. Um, I like this burnt rust color. If you're getting that, you can also bring your output for the shadows down a little bit and it'll just lighten those up. And so we'll minimize that. And then even though this is this is a lot darker than I would do, I was just trying to demonstrate how to use these outputs on the bottom. I'm going to put this back up where it was because <laughs> I really don't think that it even needs a levels layer. Um, but another thing that you can do to make it even more realistic is let's add a layer mask to this. So we're going to go down to the layer with a foot, come down here to the mask icon, add layer mask, click that, and now you'll have this little thumbnail for your layer mask. So just grab a brush, I'm going to click B on my keyboard with the brush, and then you can use your bracket keys to resize it to make it bigger or smaller. And if you hold down Alt and right click on your mouse, you can do it that way too. Look, you can drag left to right to make your brush bigger or smaller, and up and down to make it harder or softer. And we want hardness set to zero, so that would be up all the way. Come up here to the opacity. We're going to change this to 50. Type in 50. Hit OK. And we're just going to paint a little bit off of the heel. So just some of the toes are peeking through. If you decide you want some of it back, you can just hit X to switch to your white paint, and then you can just paint back some of the shadows. So if you don't like something about it, you can just back it off a little bit. 
All right, now for image three, and our last image, we're just gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna go grab our left foot one, right click on the layer, uh, duplicate layer, select image three, click okay, okay. And now we're going to grab our move tool, drag it over our image, grab a corner, drag it down. Again, I'm going off of basically about as big as a thumb. <laughs> I'm going to put it right on the line where the shadows and the highlights meet. And I'm going to click OK. Select the soft light blend mode on the layer. And then I'm going to come down here, grab an adjustment layer, levels, clip it to the layer below it. And then we're going to drag the highlights and the shadows in to make it pop just a bit more. Maybe it outputs a little bit there on the, uh... Looks good. I like the way it looks. I cannot wait to see what you guys are doing with this overlay. Please send me a picture. Throw it up on my page. Uh, email it to me. I just want to know what you guys are doing and how much you love this overlay. Um, if you're having any problems with it, though, please give me a message and let me know. I'd love to, to help if there's something I can do. But um, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.